were a musician, composer, educator, Kresge Fellow, and founder of the National Arab Orchestra. Thank you so much for coming, taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to me today. Thank you, wonderful to be here. Before we jump into the Concert of Colors, you started off playing the Oud. How did your musical adventure unfold? <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, my parents would take us to church. We grew up Greek Orthodox. And I would just remember listening to my grandfather chant. He was the priest at the church down in Berkeley, Michigan. And I just remember those sounds really sticking in my ear. So I got fascinated into those sounds and my dad had an oud at the house. He couldn't play, he just kind of strummed on the, on, the, on the instrument. But I got really fascinated with it. And it wasn't until after my, uh, my last trip to Syria in the 90s and uh, I just, I came back and I really wanted to learn. So they got me an oud and I started taking lessons with a local cat in town. And from there, it's just been kind of this cultural uh, journey of discovery. You've committed to it ever since. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of got away from it. Did you, what did yeah. you do? Well, when I got into high school, they asked me what I wanted to do and I was like, can I play oud in the orchestra? And they're like, no, but here's a saxophone. So. <laughs> I got into Western music, and then I went to school uh, with the intent of getting a music ed degree. So when I got to my undergrad, that's when I really started to have this cultural reawakening, and I started to express that through Arab music. You founded the National Arab Orchestra in 2009. What prompted that? I got a call from somebody at U of M, Allison Jones, and she wanted to restart an ensemble that was there, and I was a part of it. And it kind of went on hiatus for, for about a year and a year and a half. And she asked me to take it over, so we started uh, from scratch. We held auditions, we got in students, and so this whole thing started as a student group at U of M. It wasn't until the second concert I did the following year, and I saw how excited community members from the Arab American community were, that's when I, I took it upon myself. I borrowed money from my dad and I started the nonprofit. And from there, I started to get board members. And then we started uh, the NAO. Started off as the Michigan Arab Orchestra. And in 2014, we changed uh, to the National Arab Orchestra. started the orchestra in 2009, you added an ensemble, the Takht Ensemble, you've added school programming. You really seek to introduce Arab culture to audiences through music. What do you hope that audiences learn from their experience? I hope that Arab American kids will be able to use this platform as a way for them to get in touch with their culture, kind of like how I did. For the non-Arabs, we hope to create opportunities for people to understand the culture better. Because, you know, what people hear on the news is one thing, and what the reality of a culture is, is another. I remember I met you at Detroit School of Arts, and you did a residency with the orchestra students there, and they were kind of taken aback <laughs> by the idea of playing non-Western music on their instruments. It's always a joy to do programs like that with students uh, because you could see the transformation that takes place. And it's always the same, uh, the same cycle of events. Whenever I first walk into a new school, they're like, what's going on? Yeah. And then uh, once they get used to me, they get comfortable, then they start working on the music. Then they learn more about the culture. Then when they get to the performance, they're ready and they're excited because they know they're going to be singing with like a 30-piece orchestra. And then afterwards, they, they just they feel really good. You know, the more we do programs like this, the more we see how much the arts can impact, especially in the realm of education and in, in, in bringing people together. You're preparing for the upcoming Concert of Colors. Why is it so important for the National Arab Orchestra to be a part of this upcoming Concert of Colors? Well, Concert of Colors is a world music festival, and 
the, the NAO is one of the leading fingers of world arts in Detroit. You know, it's, uh, it's an institution that not only performs in Michigan, but it goes all over the country. The fact that we get to represent Arab culture in that forum is important. We're also really, really excited to be working and partnering again with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra to put this on. And I'm really excited about this particular program because we're bringing a, an amazing jazz legend, Yahya Khalil. He was credited with actually bringing jazz to Egypt. The Arab world is so diverse and there's so much different beauty depending on the region you're in, so there's a lot to cover there. Watch One Detroit, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.